Inclusion in the Classroom A Children's Book Explored El Defo by C.C. Bell Such an emotive book to read! C.C. Bell is both the author and illustrator of El Defo, the childhood nickname she gave herself. The story of El Defo is told in a graphic novel format. Characterised by rabbits, El Defo is a memoir of Cece Bell from ages 4 to 10 years old. It follows Cece's experience of losing her sense of hearing from the medical condition meningitis. The book focuses on Cece's journey of living with her hearing loss and new hearing aids, especially the phonic ear. El Defo actually began as a blog when one day adult Cece Bell realised she couldn't admit to being deaf to a rude supermarket cashier. In a touching and humorous writing style, Cece Bell wrote the graphic novel version of El Defo so that hearing people could better understand and communicate with people who are deaf. As a teacher, put yourself in the shoes of the young C.C. Bell, moving from a school with a program for the deaf to a new town to attend a mainstream school. C.C. found that she was the only student in the entire school who was deaf. C.C.'s parents got her the phonic ear, which allowed her to attend a normalised school setting. Cece's new teacher wears the microphone to amplify her voice in the classroom while Cece wears the big and heavy bulky hearing aid on her chest with cords reaching to her ears. The author explains to the reader of El Defo that Cece discovered that she was not only the new person at school but felt like the only different person there. Cece discovers that when she is wearing the phonic ear at school that she can hear everything her classroom teacher says and does when the teacher leaves the microphone on. Not only in the classroom, but everywhere in the school the teacher goes. As a result, Cece uses this ability in her disability and defies and challenges the status quo of being the only deaf student in her school. In attempting to find her identity, she develops the superhero alter ego, El Defo. El Defo allows for informing teaching practice. By labelling students as having special needs means that teachers differentiate teaching based on their perception of ability of a student which places a ceiling on the learning opportunities of those thought to be less able. The book shows us that through a student developing self-identity, those ceilings can be broken with flight by El Defo. As Spratt and Florian suggest, when modelling an inclusive pedagogical approach, the teacher provides a range of options which are available to the whole of class. When developing your inclusive teaching pedagogy and perspective for your classroom, it is important to consider the author of El Defo's own struggles with acknowledging their disability. In your Australian teaching classroom, you will encounter a diverse group of students, including those with disabilities and additional needs. For example, Indigenous students who are five times more likely to have a disability, especially hearing loss like CC. People living with a disability are a marginalised group in society that face even greater barriers to education than other social groups. Like El Defo's message, Staley at L's research is a call for Australian educators to nurture, promote and develop the myriad of talents and possibilities our students bring to the classroom.
as a teaching resource, El Defo can be used effectively in the teaching classroom and provide activities empowering students to cope with diversity and difference. This particular book can assist to educate students about what it looks like when living with severe hearing loss while teaching us how to better understand and communicate with the deaf and hearing impaired. So, be a teacher who advocates for equity and inclusion. El Defo informs us that inclusion is a process. Be like El Defo. Fly high in your pedagogical practice and through your lens of inclusion and worldview of education, include, encourage and engage all students to embrace any disability or difference as it is your superpower.